The black stone, which is shaped in the shape of a vagina, is nothing but inheritance of pagan belief before Muhammad and Muhammad he adopt the same belief. A pagan following the pagan. The Kaaba was exist before Muhammad and the pagan Arab. According to Muslim themselves, they worship the Kaaba and they will go around the Kaaba and they kiss the black stone. So Islam changed nothing. They were pagan, they still pagan. And then Muhammad he added to the paganism of the Arab more paganism, which is sexuality and sex. But the Kaaba is still the Kaaba. It is nothing but a pagan six by six room used to be what without roof and the town next to the to Mecca they used to come and throw garbage from the top of the Kaaba inside the Kaaba anyone knows why why they use it through garbage inside the Kaaba the Kaaba was without a roof it was just four walls and it used not to be high like this because the neighbors who they have a Kaaba, there was more than 26 Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula. So every town have a competition with the count next to them. They want the people to come and do Hajj around the Kaaba, which is their Kaaba, not the Kaaba in Mecca. The Kaaba in Mecca used to be without roof. So the neighbor from the neighbor town, they come and they throw garbage inside, throw it over the wall inside the Kaaba. So those who believe in this Kaaba, they will not believe in it anymore because who will go? If this Kaaba have God, then why the God allow the garbage to be in it? And then after that, they decide to have a roof for it. And then when Muhammad he became victorious, the Muslim, they destroy all the other Kaaba and they left their own Kaaba. And by the way, all the reference, you can find it in Islamic books. So don't fall into the trap and the lies which they give it to you saying that Islam is against paganism. If we ask a Muslim, why you kiss a black stone? If you remember once, I went to a Muslim website and I said to uh, uh, in the chat, like they have a chat uh, option. I said, uh, I have a question. Uh, the prophet, he kissed a black stone. Why he kissed a black stone? He said, because it's holy. I said, okay, why it's holy? He said, because he kissed it. <laughs> stupidity versus stupidity. Why he kissed the black stone? Because it's holy. Okay, why it's holy? Because he kissed it. I mean, it's obvious what's wrong with you. And you tell me this religion, the follower of this religion is not, they are not smart. What's wrong with you? This is a very smart answer. And now if you ask anyone, what is the purpose of kissing stones? What they will say to you? You will hear the most silly, stupid answers ever you can imagine. The black stone brother was sent from heaven, brother. Okay. So if a black stone came in from heaven, we kiss it. So what? What do, you, what do you mean from heaven? What does that mean? What does that mean exactly? The black stone is coming from heaven, so we have to kiss it. In fact, the Arab always, they used to worship any stone which look strange. Any stone, they think it's coming from the space. They think it is stone coming from the gods. And we can prove that easy. If we go in the hadith right now in the front of your eyes, and search for some hadith. Sahih al Bukhari. We used to worship stones. And when we find we found a better stone than the first one, we would throw the first one and take the better one. <laughs> hey, hey Muslim Muhammadan, now you have the better stone, you have the black stone, brother. That is what Arab do. 
and this is your Islamic resource and your own documentation of history which is not really accepted by me because history written by Muslims is full of uh, deceptions I mean they don't like uh, if a Muslim he will feel that this information if it's true information is going to hurt Islam he will never never write it but you know at that time the Muslims were victorious and they never thought that we are going to the time will come and someone like me is going to get this and get them busted with their paganism and even if they could not find a stone to worship they milk a sheep if we could not find a stone then would collect some earth i.e soil dirt and they bring a sheep and milk that sheep over it and they perform tawaf around the tawaf the same as they do today they go around the kaaba it's the same nothing changed pagan religion by the pagan arab and muhammad is a pagan man